Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. I hope you're having an amazing day. Take, uh, what take is this? Take three? Take four? I had interruptions the first couple times. This last time I have recorded it completely. Went to play it back and there's no video whatsoever. It's just me talking. And I'm like, what is going on? So take four. <laughs> Let's try this again, shall we? Today is Wednesday, November 19th, 2014. And we're going to read Matthew chapter 4. Then was Jesus led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted forty days and forty nights, he was afterward hungry. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Then the devil taketh him up in the holy city, and setteth him on a pinnacle of the temple, and saith unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and if thy hand and in their hands they shall bear thee up, least at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. Jesus said unto him, it is written, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord the God, the Lord thy God. Verse 8. Again the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain, and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world, and the glory of them, and said unto him, All these things will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Then said Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan. For it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Then the devil leaveth him. And, behold, angels came and ministered unto him. And when Jesus had heard that John was cast into prison, he departed into Galilee. And leaving Nazareth, he came and dwelt in Capernaum, which is upon the sea coast, in the borders of Zebulun and Naphtali that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, The land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali, by the way of the sea beyond Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles. The people which sat in darkness saw a great light, and to them which sat in the region and shadow of death, light is sprung up. From that time Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. That needs to be heard more today than ever. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Look around and repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Verse 18. And Jesus, walking by the sea of Galilee, saw two brethren, Simon, called Peter, and Andrew his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. And he said unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. And they straightway left their nets and followed him. And going on from thence, he saw other two brethren, James the son of Zebedee, and John his brother, in a ship was Zebedee their father, mending their nets, and he caught them. And they immediately left the ship and their father and followed him. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all manner of sickness and all manners of diseases among the people. And his fame went throughout all Syria. And they brought unto him all sick people that were taken with diverse diseases and torments, and those which were possessed with devils, and those which were lunatic, 
and those that had the palsy, and he healed them. In the last verse for chapter 4, verse 25. And there followed him great multitudes of people from Galilee, and from Decapolis, and from Jerusalem, and from Judea. Judea. I still stumbled upon Judea. Multiple times today. From Judea, and from beyond Jordan. And that does conclude Matthew chapter 4. As long as it recorded properly, it does. Peace be in you, my brothers and sisters. May the Lord have mercy on us all. If you're rebelling, repent. 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 And not just because I say to. Because you know it's what you need to. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. It may not be right at the doorstep, ready to be walked through, but it's at hand. Look around. Open thy eyes and look around. Honestly, just look and see. I love you guys so very, very much.